Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on this episode of JM Plays Badly. I want to start with a little bit of an apology. I was having some technical difficulties and some other things the past couple of weeks uh, that prevented me from not only making videos but also editing or even uploading them. But we should be back on a regular schedule now. We should be able to, you know, um, we should be all set. So we're back on our Alliance Hunter. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you might notice some things are different. Uh, we are actually in the pre-patch for the Dragonflight expansion. So one thing that's back are talent trees. Um, which, you know, I really didn't... They, they, they kind of give you a, a default loadout. Uh, and I haven't had, really had a chance to look at them, but I will. Some of them are just, you know, the abilities that were there that you could pick. Others are just, you know, well, there in general. But, um, but other than that, everything else seems to be going good. Um, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go and... We're gonna go and we're gonna keep questing here. We're gonna go get the bear, black bear brains, and en route to that, we'll head up towards along the outskirts of Raven Hill, go in through the back way, and find the remains of Morbid Fell. We're gonna fly out that though. It's not gonna it's not gonna take us too long to fly. Hello. So being that we are in the pre-patch, you know, every time there's the pre-patch, everything's different. Um, one thing we can do, which if I'm going to, I'll do a different, um, I'll do that on a different character. One thing we can do now is we can actually choose the Shadowlands uh, expansion, I believe as our uh, leveling zone. I don't remember if it's that or if it's Battle for Azeroth that you can pick as a leveling zone now. It's also WoW's anniversary, so I have to remember to turn on a... Uh, I have to remember to use an item. Once I land, I'll use it. For every every time WoW has an anniversary, they give away this item at the celebration package. And it increases reputation by a percentage based on how many years the anniversary is. This one's their 18th anniversary. And so they're giving us 18% uh, increased EXP and reputation until the celebration ends. So... There's a lot of other stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff in our bags. There's, they gave us fireworks, which we can launch you know, if we want. We don't have to, though. Uh, oh, there's another quest here. What, did I forget about this one, or did I just not do it? I got a bad feeling. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. Okay, well, we'll take care of that, too, then. We gotta go in and... Uh, Uh, what should we call it? We gotta go to Raven Hill anyway. At the light of the and then we have guide. Rebels Without a Clue. Okay, that's if we want to go to Stranglethorn. We don't need to do that. Good day. And we're gonna do the bears first, because like I said, we can. There's some over here, according to our map. Now, there's some up here too, so we're gonna go over here and loop around and then we'll head into the cemetery. And what we'll do is we'll head into the cemetery from the north, but we'll head back through it towards by going south way through it. And then that way we'll um Okay, I don't know how that works. 
is supposed to be a new feature they added. Oh, what's this? Oh, apparently, uh... Okay, cool. What'd I hit him with? He fell asleep. Well, apparently now when you use your aim shot, a powerful now it's a powerful aim shot that deals physical damage and it causes your next arcade shots or multi shots to deal 75% more damage. Well, I have arcane shots, multi shots. I don't. Oh, okay. So that's cool then. That's that is. That's the. I also have this new ability over here called Kill Shot. It attempts. It's basically. Uh, it's like a warrior's execute. It attempts to finish off an enemy. It's only usable below 25% health. Oh, okay, it's the bears. They're using an ability called Hibernate. I wonder if Hibernate, uh, increase, like... Um, I wonder if it's like the, the Pokemon ability Rest. They put themselves to sleep in order to restore their health. does. Hibernate is like rest. While they're sleeping, they uh, regenerate health. Okay, cool. Now we know. That went out in one shot. That was a hell of a shot. Now, for some reason, I can't use my serpent sting. I don't know if that's because I don't actually have access to it or. Something, because it's grayed out on my bar. That's another thing I gotta. It's another one of those things I gotta check. Out there. Oh, nice! And officially, we have we have um, explored all of uh, here. All of Duskwood. Now. I 
shit like that. Um, There we go. Now we got those. A couple of grave robbers over here. Leave them alone, though. They're not hurting anything right now. Alright. So our next one is... We're going to look for the remains of Morbid Fell first. And then, like I said, we've also got all these ghouls we gotta kill, and there's a lot of them. They're all over the place. Rotted ones. There's like all kinds of names for them up here. We just gotta be careful because this. We shouldn't trifle with this guy. Watch out for him, more Ladim. I think we have to fight him later as part of a quest. Creepy music in this place always got to me. It's like, it's like, you know, I almost used to say to myself that certain areas of World of Warcraft were areas you couldn't play at night. You know, if you have an active imagination, it'd be scary. It's like, Found a blitzer tat. Alright, well, 
that's where we gotta go. So we're gonna head that general direction. Like I said, we'll just fight the ghouls along the way. So a daily quest here in the middle of the whatchamacallit. Oh, okay. As a master pet trainer, that's why. Don't waste my time. Off you go. Skeletal fiends don't have to be killed for this fight. They're, uh... Some of them are in my way. The worst part is, is these rotting horrors don't count. These rotting horrors are more like traditional zombies, and then you got the... Then you got these, which are like... Ghouls. that I'm here. I need a target. I don't know what I accidentally hit. Let's take care of the last one. And there we go. Now we can go back to the town. Which, like I said, the reason I did it was here we are. All right, so here we are back in town. And we're gonna start. We'll give the. We'll start with Sven Jorgen first. All right. Then we'll talk to Jitters over here. Hello. That give him good. the variants. He gives us a pair of boots, which are better. Turn in our quest, and we'll see what other quest she's got for us. What's your story? Long live Greymane! Hey, watch your back. We are bound by a common enemy. Enough gabbing for me today. The first thing we have to do is we need to go back in and find the light forged rod. Alright. 
Okay, so this is where it tells us to go. It's probably buried here. Oh, okay. I'm going to level up too. We have an unspent talent point, which we will do. Um, okay, let's do this because it increases the damage of Arcane Multi Shot. So now we have a new quest that says So it says the rest of the rod is somewhere in the catacombs. Popped out of the ground. I think I mentioned this in another video. One thing I hear about in WoW is that like you could be walking just far enough away that they're not going to get too close to you, and yet somehow they still manage to detect you. Of the embalmer. Is she, I wonder, I think she's a rare spawn. They might have changed the rare spawn icon on me. That would be terrible. Well, so she's rare. Hi, Eliza. So we're probably going to wander aimlessly for a couple minutes, so I'm going to um, 
while I look for the, I'll probably look for the tunnel independently and then uh, we'll pick up the video once I find the entrance to the other tunnel. Alright, so in my travels to look for it, I found this uh, a weathered grave. It's a quest marker. And it looks like there's somebody. The weathered grave marker simply reads Morgan Lattimore. And what was curious is as I was walking up, I noticed that that um, elite that was wandering around, that Morla Dim, actually stopped and kind of stared at it for a minute and then walked away again. Still have not found the entrance to the catacomb, though. So I just wanted to point that out quick, and we're going to keep looking. Okay, so I found my way back to where we started this excursion. And if I had been reading quest descriptions, I would have noticed something. It actually said that there's a hole in the wall and a winding path where it was leading me. So that's why I couldn't find the last piece and was wandering all over the uh, cemetery. So I cut a bunch of that out though, so you won't see most of that. Uh, there's just a little. There was a little cool little thing I found, so I did leave that, but the rest I did not. So this looks like the last piece of the artifact. So in part of the video that I cut out, I actually came into this catacomb at the complete opposite end and was completely overrun. So I have a feeling that that's why you're supposed to follow the quest, so it brings you around this way. And even then, there's still a lot of enemies down here. We'll just get rid of these guys first. And then we'll use the artifact on Marvin Fell. part is that there's all these like flesh-eating worms that dropped out of the... oh there they go. Look at that. All the enemies in the tomb died. This is where I got overwhelmed though. I was trying to come in here this way and I got um, like completely obliterated. I'm not going to take a chance. I was going to explore a little bit but I'm not going to take that chance that you know there could be that these guys could respawn at any minute. You know. 
Not to mention, I might have to fight my way past the Elite when I get to the top of the stairs. Oh, or not. Good. Alright. So let's... Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna ride our way out. I'm gonna try to avoid enemies. Um, or at the very least, we're just gonna try to outrun them. And get back to uh, the entrance. That did not work. That does, however. Oh, I know. Aspect of the cheetah. There we go. There's probably still some following me, but they'll give up. There we go, they gave up. Now we'll go turn this into Sven Jorgen. We get better gloves. We have another unspent talent, which is actually a hunter talent point. So let's see, we've got tranquilizing shot, uh, entrapment, improve, I can improve my traps. Let's see. I can do scatter shot or binding shot. Oh, I like this one. Use camouflage. I'm gonna take camouflage here. I just gotta remember to add those to my thing later, to my action bars later, so I can actually use them. I gotta rearrange all my all my bars. A lot of my a lot of stuff got um, messed up. All right. With that in mind. Get Gavin and get have, going. Yeah, you still just have the rolls that a clue. Need something? Right. We're gonna fly back to Darkshire. And then uh, we'll probably call the video because I know that there's some other I know there's one other thing to do. And then we'll probably be done officially with uh, Duskwood. Alright, well, that about does it for today's episode. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification button so that you can stay up to date on everything I'm working on. You can also support the channel on Patreon. There is a link to that in the description below. There is also a link to my Twitch channel so you can be notified when I'm streaming. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next episode.